The AEDC highlighting seven employers bringing nearly 4,000 new jobs and more than $2 billion in capital investments across a number of industries. While diversifying the economy is crucial to growth, ag is very much a part of the area's bread and butter. You know, we know that we are uh, we do supply the, the, the food, fuel, and fiber uh, for the country. Many of these jobs will require skilled labor, placing further demand on local trade schools and universities. Yeah, I think you'll see uh, tremendous uh, growth um, in the uh, career and technical education uh, departments in the five school districts and then Emerald College. Dr. Ann Macy is a Gene Edwards Professor of Finance at WT and says while local schools do a great job teaching STEM, the city's growth will further demand it. But adding in the STEM and then leading it into Amarillo College, into WT, into Texas Tech to provide that. I think you also see it with the trade schools. And really one of the things is, is that there's almost a greater need for, the, for trade schools in the sense that there seems to be a lot of our older individuals in the trades are going to be retiring in the next five to ten years. Plenty of them are also bringing high pay, some in the six-figure ballpark which will have far-reaching implications. The things that the Amarillo employers are going to have to do is to retain the talent that they want, then they are going to see that is going to be upward pressure on wages. But our wage growth is not so much that we're not pricing ourselves out of the market, we're just moving up. With more workers moving into the area, or in many cases moving back, real estate demand is going to increase, as will the load on the city's infrastructure. There's tremendous desire to live within Amarillo proper or within Canyon proper because of the city services. So we have to make sure that we have the ability to provide the utilities to them and the water, the sewage, the electrical. The current state of the economy is strong, but it's definitely going to come with adjustments. In Amarillo, Rochelle Hamilton Jr., KMR Local 4 News.